Welcome back, Floof Crew. Radioactive GT wants to know, how can they persuade anti-pet parents to consider letting them have ferrets? It's a great question and one that could get me into trouble, but here goes. Ferrets are a great pet to keep in your bedroom, as long as you don't mind the smell, as they sleep in a secure cage for about 18 hours a day. You must let them out for active play with lots of things to climb over and through for four hours a day. But they wouldn't need to roam the house, so your parents never need to actually see them. <laughs> Ferrets are incredibly quiet. Even at their most excited, the sound they make is adorable but tiny. So your parents need never actually hear them. A ferret's natural diet is raw meat, but there are completely acceptable kibble brands you can use to feed them, keeping food prep and storage simple and contained within the room you keep the animals. While it's possible to be allergic to any furred animal, ferrets give off less dander and shed less than other types of pets, making them less of a problem for people who commonly suffer from animal allergies. The average lifespan of a ferret is five to seven years, some can live longer, the current record being 14 years, but on the whole, it's a much shorter commitment than the life of a dog or a cat, meaning your parents won't get stuck with an unwanted pet for years after you've left home. There are some negative aspects I want you to be aware of, though, before committing to a slinky dinky. The smell. Um, Zorro? If you're keeping them in your bedroom, it's going to mean a daily commitment for cleaning their cage and litter tray if you don't want to stink the house out. Mind you, some teenagers' bedrooms smell awful anyway, so it could be an improvement. The commitment. You will need to let them out of the cage for active play for four hours every day. And I mean every day. So if you have a lot of hobbies and school activities that keep you out of the house, they might not be the right pet for you. Vets bills. If your ferrets get sick, vets' bills will be a little more expensive than cats or dogs, as they're considered exotic animals by the veterinary industry. You really should get two ferrets, not one, which will double the cost of feeding and vets' bills. I've linked a video with more about why this is here. But just know, if you're an animal lover, it is much kinder to the ferret if it lives with a bonded partner. Ferret proofing. While it's perfectly okay to keep your ferrets in one room, you will need to make sure the space is safe and secure, nothing they can chew or climb that could put them in danger. They are also really good at escaping, so make sure there are no holes in the skirting boards or furniture they can squeeze through and disappear. Basically, if you can fit two adult-sized fingers into a hole, a ferret can probably get through it. Cost. Although ferrets are relatively inexpensive to buy, especially if you go to a rescue centre, setting up a suitable sleep cage will cost around £400 for the cage and accessories they need, like hammocks and tunnels. Well, I hope that's helped you and your parents decide whether or not ferrets are the right pet for you. If you think I've missed anything, comment below. See you next time.